Hi guys, Raul from Simple Wi-Fi and in this video we're going to be covering directional panels. Alright, so let's cover the basics. A panel is a directional antenna, meaning that you have to point this antenna in the direction where you want to receive a signal from or send a signal to. Now, to and from depends on whether or not you're using a USB adapter, this will be receiving, or you can transmit with an access point or a router. So this is for the DIY guy who wants to send a signal far away, or he wants to receive a signal from far away. Depending on your use case, the situation is the same. The antenna is going to point in a direction where the signal should be. So when it comes to choosing the right antenna for your application, there are a couple things you need to look at. First, the DBI gain. This is the potential forward reach of the antenna. So the higher the gain, the higher the DBI, the further this antenna can reach. The downside of that is the further that it can reach forward, the more narrow the radiation pattern is. So a 15 DBI antenna, which is a 32 degree radiation cone, is gonna see further, but less to the left and right compared to an eight DBI which has a 60 degree radiation pattern. So we have a 15 dBi versus an 8 dBi. The 15 dBi is gonna go further, but see less from left to right. But the panel, the 8 dBi mini panel, is gonna see more from left to right, but not as far. Now let's touch briefly on the difference between our panels and sectorials. Technically, they are both panels but we like to use a different name for sectorials because they are usually base station antennas. We have a whole other video that talks about this one. Uh, these are very far reaching and wide spreading antennas. You often see these on uh, cell towers, for example. I have some behind me and really what's going on inside a sector antenna is a combination of panel antennas. So inside this big guy behind me, you might see a combination of five or six of these that are aligned and positioned just right in order to get a 120 degree spread, 45, 90 degree spread, but also have these high gain numbers of up to 18 and 19 dBi gain. So there's a difference, but they're similar. Uh, they're just different enough that we want to use a different video to describe them and uh, you typically only use these for base stations. All right, so now let's run through a couple different scenarios to help better understand how these antennas work and which one might be the best one for your application. So the most common question we get is, how do I get more signal or more reach out of my router at home? And before we jump into that, you need to understand first that your router needs to have detachable antennas in order, in order to use uh, one of these panels or any antenna on our, on our site. Uh, if you have a gateway from Comcast, Verizon, uh, any, any ISP uh, that doesn't have detachable antennas, you can ethernet from that into a different router that has detachable antennas. Typically any smart router on the market like the Netgear Nighthawk or Asus or Buffalo uh, on the higher end have detachable antennas so that you can configure and extend your network further and further as, as you please. So the first thing we're gonna tackle is the Netgear Nighthawk using a 8 dBi dual band mini panel. So dual band is really nice because it uses 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and this is a dual band router, so you don't lose one of the frequencies as, as you might en encounter with a 15 dBi panel, for example, which is only 2.4. The 8 dBi mini panel has a 60 degree spread and it's gonna punch through enough walls of a typical house to get to that hard to reach area 60 degrees from the router location in the direction that you're pointing. Then you leave two antennas that are omni in order to keep that signal as is but you get one little extra kick in that one direction where you want to get more signal. All right, next is a use case for USB adapters. So USB adapters that come from Alpha or the N700 on our website have detachable antennas. They have the right connection port for all of the antennas on our website, but for the guys who are traveling or pen testing or doing anything where you want to kind of be discreet or travel light, the 8 dBi mini panel is fantastic for this as well. It's good, like I said, 60 degrees left and right, 8 dBi moving forward, and it plugs right into the same port. So you can have an omnidirectional antenna, and then the mini panel will go onto the other open port. So you have directional and omni on this 52NH, 
uh, or if you have a single port alpha, uh, you can just go directional with that and point it in a direction where you want to receive signal. Okay, so now the indoor tripod 15 dBi, 32 degree radiation cone panel antenna. This is a very strong, very flat and sleek antenna. Uh, the indoor version comes with a three, three foot cable that can plug directly to the back of the neck gear or your USB adapter like we talked about earlier. Um, it's gonna be very focused, just 32 degrees. So it's not always good to use inside of a house unless you wanna get it to one specific place. Uh, but if you're trying to receive from or transmit from a specific point, you can point this out a window or you can beam it at your barn or at your, at your guest house right out the window. It's gonna work really nice because you're focusing all of that energy in that direction. Now, it's also uh, travels very light. The tripod comes apart and uh, it's a nice, uh, nice antenna for uh, when you're traveling and you need to get internet and you're just a little bit far away from, from that hotspot. Okay, so the last scenario we're gonna cover is the outdoor version of the 15 dBi panel. This is a 2.4 gigahertz panel antenna. 2.4 gigahertz travels further. It's more widely used. The five gigahertz is coming and we will eventually have dual band panels. Uh, but for right now, we're focusing on 2.4 since it's a long range video. Uh, you wanna put this on a pole. So in this scenario, I have an example of what a J pole looks like. They can sit on the side of your house and it's gonna sit nicely and work very, very well to be able to point this antenna to where you want to transmit a signal to if you have it connected to your router or receive a signal from if you have it connected to a USB adapter. So the way this connection is happening is over coax cable. And like I've said before in other videos, you always want to use the shortest length possible and the thickest cable possible. So in this scenario, we have our 400 type with the termination N male since the antenna has an N female and almost everything in the Wi-Fi world, routers, and USB adapters have SMA RP, reverse polarity, SMA type with a reverse polarity pin. So an N mail to SMA RP, you're gonna be able to connect to Netgear routers, Asus, uh, Buffaloes, new, new Linksys, uh, USB adapters, and work very well with this antenna outside, bypassing a lot of the obstructions inside your house to get more potential reach from the antenna and get overall better throughput and uh, of course a better internet speed. Okay, so the last thing I wanna to touch on about this outdoor panel is the way that we're connecting to the back of the antenna. As you can see here, I have a right angle end to end and this allows me to go straight up and also nicely zip tie the cable back to the J pole and along my cable run. And the reason I wanna do this, I want to avoid having a specific kink on this coax cable. It's very rigid, it's tough to bend, but if you manage to kink it, you just lost this cable and you're gonna need, you're gonna need to replace it. So if I didn't have this right angle connector, I'm using the other end of this cable, for example, I would need to come up and bend it back here to go straight in. I want a nice curve. If I bent it too close to the, the cable termination, I can break the center pin and now I'm gonna have bad connections or I might not even see signal at all. So the right angle just keeps things really nice if you can use it. Sometimes you might be able to run straight out of your house into the back of this and that's fine. The idea here is to avoid bends and kinks on your uh, cable terminations and uh, overall your connection would be a lot better and you'll have more longevity out of your cable. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please press like down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Wi-Fi tutorials. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach us at support at simplewifi.com. Thanks.